Hello YouTube. This week I've got the keys to a 2019 Mazda CX-3 all-wheel drive. Let's take a look. I've got a lot of reviews on my website uh, and uh, drivesideways.com and of course uh, on my YouTube channel, youtube.com slash James Bergeron, what you're watching right now. Please subscribe to my channel and uh, like this video if you like it. Uh, this is the 2019 CX-3. A few little changes for this year over 2018, uh, mainly on the inside I'll show you. Uh, this is powered by two liter four cylinder engine, six speed automatic transmission. There is a manual available, uh, but only in the base trim as far as I know. Um, this is the all wheel drive version. It's uh, 148 horsepower, 146 pound feet of torque. Um, it does feel a little sluggish, if I'm honest, uh, with the all-wheel drive. With the front-wheel drive, I find the power is pretty good. Um, it is 32,000 and change. This one with your fees and that. Uh, this is pretty. This is pretty loaded. Uh, it's got all the tech features, um, and it's pretty nice for a small car. It handles really well. I'll give it that. That's for sure. Um, it does have the G-vectoring. Um, which helps with your steering input and makes you less tired on the road. I've done a lot of miles on this. I've already put a thousand kilometers on it. Um, and I've actually quite enjoyed it over this time. It's got a rubber mat here. This is an option as well, of course. And if you lift this up, you see there's another floor. And then if you lift that up, you got your spare tire and a subwoofer inside that spare tire. So there is quite a bit of room here. Of course, you could be a little bit lighter if you didn't have the subwoofer and whatever features are in this one compared to the base model. You've got your jack in there on the side. Uh, so it's well packaged. 60-40 split seats. This tonneau cover, cargo cover, does come off pretty easily. Just give it a tug. That pops off. Um, and then push this button here. You can fold down that seat. And then you've got a flat floor, pretty much flat. It does angle a little bit here uh, once you do that. And of course, you can pull out that divider too. Give yourself some more height if you need it. Because um, the height of this trunk is not really that great. So we'll pop that back into place. And then we'll go take a look at the inside. Well, see, it's pretty easy to do actually. This is super light. Hop in the side here, it's locked. And now it's locked again. There we go. Uh, it's got keyless entry as you can see, and uh, keyless start as well. Beautiful leather seating, perforated leather. There's your 6040, armrest with cup holders in the middle. Here we go, it like, you know, if you look at it, it looks like a pretty luxurious vehicle, right? Um, it is a small vehicle for the price you're paying, I guess. That's the only downside here. Hop in here. Pop this headrest up. Sit in the back seat. This is in my driving position. I'm five foot eight, So you can see it's a little tight. Uh, I had my niece back here. She's 13. She didn't complain much. Uh, she was sitting on the other side most of the time. She didn't complain much. She didn't complain at all. She just sat on her phone and watched uh, YouTube videos and that. Um... She said it was great to rest her head on the back of the seat here. Sunroof and typical Mazda interior now. They're all, I think they're really, really great for the price range. Mazda is really top notch in interior design right now. Uh, you got your navigation system up there on the top and they all support navigation. And this does not have Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, but it is coming. So Mazda has just released that they're doing it in the CX-9. And apparently all these systems will support it and it's just going to be a software upgrade. Now, how much they're gonna charge for that, don't know. Or maybe it'll be free, we don't know yet. Um, let's go up front and take a look at these, uh, this in detail. Before I hop in the front, I'm just gonna show here, we've got two memory position seats. So that's pretty nice uh, for, for a car in this price range. Again, those perforated leather seats, they are heated, not cooled. Um, you've got your heated seat buttons here and the heated steering wheel as well. I'm going to start it up 
and I'm gonna show you there. So that pops up, this little screen pops up. I'm gonna turn down the volume a bit here. And you've got uh, your head-up display there. And this is a tilt and telescoping steering wheel, pretty much like any car uh, nowadays. Start, 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 stop button there. And turn this fan down a bit so it doesn't just sound like a airplane in here. So you've got your nav control uh, and, and your entertainment system here. Um, you've got home button, nav, and that. You can use this to control the system up here. Um, so you can flip through here. If you go into applications, I think this is where you'll see Android Auto, Apple CarPlay. Uh, if you look here, my fuel economy, I've been averaging 8 liters per 100 kilometers, which is pretty darn good. Uh, mostly highway, of course. This is also a touch screen. Um, some, of the, some of the settings don't seem to work with the touch screen. Uh, I think like if I go under settings itself, pretty sure I went in here and it didn't work. No, it does work. So I guess I was dreaming that it didn't work in here. Um, but if you go under navigation and you can, you know, you can scroll two finger, can you zoom two finger? You can turn the map, you can move the map with your finger, you can, no, you can't zoom out, I guess, you have to hit this button to zoom out. But it works pretty well, anyways, um, and you can just use the knob as well to do that. And you've got your volume knob here as well. And you can push it just to mute it quickly. It's not a bad location. I still like the dash, but it is right at your hand. It is easy to use. We've got dual zone climate control. Uh, sorry, not dual zone climate control. Single zone climate control, but it is automatic climate control with the temperature setting. And it's got go 15, 22, 29. And these are one degree increments when you rotate that. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, and 22. So kind of proved that to myself the other day um, you've got a 12 volt power outlet there a couple USB auxiliary input this is where your SD card is for your navigation system there's also a switch here for sport mode and we can also pull this down into drive flip it over and then you can shift manually and it'll show you your gears over here first gear second gear is not going to go any higher than that when I'm not moving but there's your second gear first gear so that flips that's your, if you want to shift yourself, you've also got paddle shifters if you want to do that. One, two, one, two, one, two. Um, automatic headlights, automatic wipers, I believe. Yep, automatic wipers as well as a rear wiper. Um, controls on the steering wheel. This has radar cruise control as well um, and collision avoidance and all those things. It also has, if we put it in reverse, nice camera, really bright, really easy to see. I don't know what we have under settings here so you can change the contrast and the brightness and that for it and it does have cross traffic alert as well so you'll see uh, if somebody or a car comes by you'll see it beeping and it'll flash and beep at you it's got lane departure warning if you're driving and you go over the line it'll beep at you or you can actually set that to beep or moan at you uh, and you can set different intensities and volumes and that Blind spot detection in the mirrors, gigantic mirrors. For the size of this car, the mirrors are really, really big and it makes uh, visibility excellent. Um, I really, really like everything about this car, to be honest with you. The only thing I don't like, I guess, is the amount of power it has. It could be a little bit more. Mazda's always kind of like that. They like to make a lighter, kind of sporty car. This, in a, with a front-wheel drive, doesn't feel as sluggish as it does with the all-wheel drive. It's not ridiculously slow or anything. It's just... I guess I like a more powerful car. Um, info button here will flip you through this screen and give you, you know, kilometers left and that. Um, and you've got your trip button up here. And I've done a thousand and eighty-three kilometers, so I've put a lot of kilometers on it. And I kind of got a, got used to this car, and you know, I don't uh, I don't hate it. That's for sure. Um, automatic windows. I guess that's one thing that is eh, somewhat of a pet peeve of mine not automatic on any of them except for the driver's side um nice uh, sun visors that pull out now they don't pull out out but this part comes out which is nice and they turn and that and you've got sunglasses holder up here as well and then you've got your sunroof with a shade so you kind of got everything you need this is a nice fabric material this is hard not rubbery and this is kind of like fake leather um, and this is kind of like fake leather stuff maybe it's real leather not sure this is what's new for 2019 
this area, I guess. Not sure exactly, unless you go look at a 2018. Uh, it has the armrest. I think that might be completely new, actually, the armrest. Um, and it's got these flip-down cup holders. Flip out, see, they flip down, pop. They're kind of cool. They don't hold a water bottle very well. The water bottle kind of flops around in there. But they'll hold a bigger drink and a coffee cup kind of thing. Um, another little bit of cubby hole space there, too, if you need it. And, of course, there's some space there as well. So lots of little cubby holes. It's a small car. It's kind of fun to drive. Let's take it for a drive and, and kind of try to give you a feel uh, for what it's like. So foot to the floor. And that's just over 80 kilometers an hour. So if you watch some other videos that do a similar thing, uh, you can tell that this is a little bit anemic. It makes a lot of noise when you're accelerating like that. Once you get up to speed, it's not noisy. Like it keeps the revs with the six speed at you know 1500 RPM, just over 2000, 2500 RPM on the highway. Uh, it's reasonably quiet, really. Um, and there's not much wind noise. You get a tiny bit of wind noise over here on the side here, but really like, you know, got on the highway, uh, long highway drives, no problem, not tired. That G-vectoring, which I sampled uh, with, with uh, Mazda uh, a long time, a couple of years ago now, um, really made a difference. You could tell the difference between G-vectoring and not, uh, just for comfort. Accelerate again. Now put it in sport mode, and it doesn't really change anything except it holds the gears longer, but if you put your foot down, it holds it to the end anyways. So in sport mode now, we're at 3,000 RPM at 80. I take it out of sport mode, it'll shift. Boom, and then we're down to just under 2,000 RPM. So sport mode, what it's gonna do is just gonna hold the gears longer so that when you can accelerate out of a corner a little bit better, and then you can kind of shift yourself as, as well if you want the, with the paddles. There we go, see now I'm in third. Accelerate, fourth gear, downshift third, fourth. So, I mean, it works pretty well. Uh, but honestly, in an SUV, it's not really an SUV. It's a small, this is like a Mazda 2, the old Mazda 2 slash Mazda 3. It's almost a Mazda 3, but it's a little bit smaller, jacked up with bigger wheels. Uh, it's got 18-inch wheels, which are pretty big for this category, I'd say. Uh, really makes the car look a lot bigger than it actually is on the road. Um, like, it looks bigger on the road than it is on the inside. Um, yeah, so, but it, I mean, it drives well, uh, and uh, and it's uh, pretty smooth. Mazda's always been excellent on suspension. Uh, really enjoy the suspension, and the head-up display is a bonus on this car. Uh, it's you know, I really like having a head-up display that you can look at. Kind of fun to drive around corners. You know, it still feels light and small, even though you know it's a let's say SUV in quotes. Um, because it's really a small car kind of jacked up um, it doesn't have if you notice on the sun visors here it doesn't have the warning you may flip over if you're too uh, abrupt with this car so it really is you know well planted on the road easy to drive the one thing I have noticed if you have your cruise control set and you're going in a curve like this uh, the car will slow down quite a bit and I think it has something to do with the G vectoring um, it doesn't keep its speed. Like you come into the corner at like 80 and you'll be going 70 halfway through the corner, which is a little bit annoying to me. Um, you know, I keep my foot on it and go 80 through the corner, no problem. Well, there you have it, the 2019 Mazda CX-3. I have a feeling this might be a popular video. Um, small hatchback crossover, 18 inch wheels, make it look a lot bigger than it actually is fun to drive, great on gas, um, and uh, not too bad on the wallet. Again, thanks for watching and do like this video.